says they have a very limited amount of lodging availability left for the Christmas holiday. Now the On Your Side forecast with Chief Meteorologist Scott Dorval. So all the areas, uh, ski areas are open around the region, so good news this weekend. And I think we're going to get more light snow coming in. Now, it's difficult to say how much will come in, and it will probably won't be till later tonight we'll get some of the mountains to the north. Bogus Basin is going to be uh, on the lean side of this because it's a little too far south. But as we head towards Christmas itself, uh, Sunday and Christmas Eve, we're talking about a better chance of snow for pretty much everybody. So there's some good news there. And boy, it's cold out there. I said 30 to 35 for the 3 degree guarantee. We hit it right on the nose today, 35, which you notice we're down to 30. In Napa already, and ooh, that brisk wind chill. That wind is blowing out there now. Certainly noticeable. It's 10 in Stanley, got to 15 below zero in Stanley this morning, down near zero in McCall, 19 right now. Temperatures are in the low 30s, but wind chill factors are running in the 20s right now. 27 in Twin Falls and a biting westerly wind blowing as well, easterly wind blowing as well. A couple snow showers and flurries popping up. We could see a stray snowflake in the Treasure Valley. I don't think it'll be really anything tonight, but in the mountains, snow showers will pick up. And there could be an inch of snow in Long Valley tonight, maybe a couple of inches up on Brundage Mountain. Bogus Basin might only get a couple of snow showers. We're looking get some moisture coming in here. Northeast Oregon, you'll see it. Northern Idaho, Spokane right now getting snow. So travel up north on Highway 95 right now, not good because of the snow when you get north of uh, Riggins and heading past White Bird Hill. East of Seattle, the mountains, the Cascades, snow falling here as well. This cloud cover will thicken. There are some snow showers. There's no radar coverage right here, and that's what will move in to the West Central Mountains tonight. More powerful storm system right here. This is not blasting on in. This is going to the south, and as it does so, it'll turn our westerly winds to southwesterly winds. It'll start to bring a little more moisture in, but it's still to the west to really barrel in the moisture, and so it'll be a little while before it makes its way in. But this is a sign of a lot of cold air in here. Most of the energy is going to dive down to the south. The storm that was here earlier, right on the edge of your screen now, going to the east, that'll cause a blizzard up there in the central plains. Wisconsin, especially Iowa, strong winds gusting over 50 in Chicago as well. They'll have mostly rain ending as snow, but you get up towards Milwaukee and points north near Green Bay. Heavy snow coming in with uh, probably the first of three blizzards to go into the Midwest in the next two and a half weeks. You're going to hear a lot about Chicago, a lot about Minneapolis, and a lot about Wisconsin over the next couple of weeks as storms continue to track in that region. For us here and our future cache, you see some cloud cover overnight tonight. And really nothing happening in the valley, just some cloud cover during the day tomorrow. I call it a partly cloudy day. Snow showers developing tonight and then ending. Uh, in the mountains. And Thursday night, we'll pick back up in the West Central Mountains. And you'll see here now pushing down towards the Boise Mountains Friday afternoon. Acid Bogus Basin has a better chance of getting a little bit more snow, but it'll keep the roads a little bit slick there in the mountains through Friday. And as we head into Saturday, still a chance for more snow showers coming in. Then on Sunday, this moisture to the south will start to move on in, give us a chance of snow and rain in the Treasure Valley Sunday night, turning over to light snow showers on Monday, Christmas Eve. We may end up with a dusting of snow in the Treasure Valley. Stay tuned. In the meantime, just through Friday and actually into Saturday morning, you'll see the best chance for snow. This is Brundage Mountain with a heavier snow, maybe uh, upwards to eight inches of, of snow or so. We'll see what happens there. Bogus Basin in this region, again, a little too far south, but I still think there'll be a little bit of snow coming in. Let's take a look at the forecast now, and you'll see it right here for this weekend. The snow in northern Nevada for people coming back from the Mako Bowl. They're starting to issue caution now for travel in northern Nevada. Getting down to the game, not a problem. Coming back could be an issue. This is a good looking map for Christmas Eve. A chance for snow showers in the Treasure Valley, while on Christmas Day that storm will pull away to the east. My Treasure Valley forecast for tomorrow, just a mix of sun and clouds. The big story tomorrow, wind chill factors near zero in the morning in the Treasure Valley. It'll be inside recess for the kids tomorrow. Highs may hit 40. Winds howling to 35 miles an hour is going to cause a problem with real cold temperatures. Snow showers in the mountains tonight, maybe an inch in Long Valley. Snow showers tomorrow and then tomorrow night as well. My on your side extended forecast showing that the best chance for precipitation in the Treasure Valley will be Sunday and Christmas Eve with a mix of rain and snow Sunday, snow showers on Christmas Eve. I want to stress, though, the wind and the cold tomorrow. Wind chill factors near zero until about 10 o'clock in the morning tomorrow really? in the Treasure Valley, so get ready for that. Biting wind. Well, yeah. kids Biting are going to be outside. Exactly. All right, thanks, Scott. Coming up on today's 6 on your side,